Bonjour. 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 One second, let me turn my camera on. I'd like to give you access to my seven day retired machine. Oh, we have some background noise. Maybe we can. Perfect. Hmm, Keenan, Charles, and Anna. We we saw each other. I don't know, Charles. Let me see. Uh, je um, suis nouveau. <laughs> vous êtes nouveau, oui, oui, oui. super. Uh, je connais uh, Anna. Anna, uh, I'm sorry, you are intermediate. I remember, right? Oh, uh, oui, oui. Okay, perfect. C'est vrai. Okay, perfect. Um, can you please tell me where are you located? I'm sorry, just want to have, I know Keenan. Anna? I'm in California, so I'm on Pacific yeah. time, so it's actually nine in the morning. Nevera, a matin, à ce moment. Oh, and it's quite early, isn't it? Perfect. Oui. We have some more people coming. So thank you everybody for coming. I'm I'm so grateful for you to be here. And what I would like to tell everybody for now we'll hold we'll keep our microphones open. I like to hold these sessions as if it was one on one because I know that most of you need that. So I'm trying to do my best to actually offer that to you. My best. I'm hearing my echo. So maybe we will have to mute um, the microphones if you don't mind. So I know Anna, US Intermediate. Uh, Charles, where are you calling from, please? I'm calling from uh, Indiana, um, Eastern Standard Time. Perfect. And how, you do, how do you consider yourself? What level do you consider yourself to be? My niveau is entre B1 and B2. Okay. B1 and B2. And that's the language, the knowledge of the language. Is it the same level in the conversation? Association? Dans la conversation, est-ce que c'est le conversation, c'est B2. B2, en conversation. Okay. Perfect. Um, C. Noble, uh, do we talk before? No, this is my first time. Hi. Um, you want me to call you Noble no. or? Catherine, it's Catherine. Oh, Catherine. Hi, Catherine. Um, what is your level, Catherine? What do you consider yourself? What level do you consider yourself to be? C'est difficile pour moi parce que quand je quand je suis seule, uh, je pense que je peux parler français avec elle. Mais quand j'essaie de parler avec une autre, mm. uh, mon niveau uh, tombe. Mm. <laughs> je comprends. Et timide et c'est très difficile pour moi à parler. Ok, parfait. Nous, je comprends. Nous allons faire un petit peu de conversation, bien sûr. Et Livy. Livy, où est-ce Oh, hi, hi Livy. C'est moi. Oui, Livy. Mm -hmm. uh, quel niveau est-ce que vous considérez, vous considérez à ce moment? À quel niveau? Uh, je suis débutant. 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 Okay, Bien super. Sir. Okay. Um, where do you where are you calling from? Upstate New York. New York. Okay, perfect. Ara, yeah. welcome. Bienvenue. I don't think you heard me. I was just saying that. I'm happy to Hello, see you. Hello, bonjour. Hi, bonjour, bonjour. I'm happy to see you here today. Perfect. So uh, now I know, uh, let's see. So Ara is, he is considering himself a one, a two beginner and he wants to practice hearing French a little more. Olivier and Anna is an intermediate and everybody else spoke. So, um, 
by show of hands, if you would like to try to have conversations with each other, to introduce each one with, um, I mean, to, to try to talk to each other somehow, uh, if that is something that you'd like to do, by show of hands, who would like that? I know people without the videos can show their hands, so um, <laughs> <laughs> the ones that do. No, okay. So I understand. Uh, I'll, I'll do it. You do it. I would do it. You would do it. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Ara would do it. So Zoom is helping uh, us to. Oh, lance the video for Olivier and Ara. <laughs> lance. Okay. Uh, il y a des fois quand il y a des fois quand on n'est pas confortable avec la vidéo et je comprends ah. je comprends bien ça um, et si les gens préfèrent uh, à converser sans vidéo moi je suis très heureuse oui Anna tu as la main levée uh, à cinq minutes s'il vous plaît ah oui super bon Alors, um, je ne sais pas, Kat, uh, Catherine, uh, can you repeat that again? Where are you? I, I just wrote you as, you told me where you were. No, I didn't, I didn't say. Mm -hmm. Moi, je n'ai pas dit. Non. Uh, no. uh, J'habite à Portland, Oregon, aux Etats-Unis. Ok, parfait. Alors, pour moi, um, La, les États-Unis, aux États-Unis, mon expérience, c'est que euh, les gens de, à New York, aussi que euh, euh, New Orleans, la Nouvelle-Orléans, euh, et le Texas, euh, et c'est le plus grand intérêt euh, dans la langue française. Euh, puis, tout partout aux États-Unis, je sais, Mais euh, j'ai observé qu'il y a beaucoup plus de cultures euh, assimilées, euh, la culture française assimilée dans, dans ces pays. Euh, pas au Texas, euh, là-bas c'est un très grand intérêt, euh, mais la culture française n'est pas vraiment euh, incorporée. Euh. Bon, parfait. Est-ce que vous avez vos cafés <laughs> oui. Oui. Ok. Bon. Moi, je n'ai pas un café, mais je veux dire que c'est un café. Ok. Oh. Parfait. Um, bon. Alors. Um, so I'm gonna say to speak a little faster. Um, so I, I, everybody can understand. I know that. If you do not understand, I'm gonna go by the hand raise um, because I have two people who don't use their video. And please keep their video off. Keep your video off if that's what makes you comfortable. I'd much rather hear you than see you. I love you, <laughs> but you're here to speak. So I'm going to go with the hand raise. I know that Anna, she's usually busy at this hour, at this time in the day. And so uh, if you don't have the video on and you would like to speak uh, or you didn't understand. So if there's anybody who said something too quickly for you because this group, I'm so happy that it's um, a conversation can be done with everybody um, then raise your hand and let us know and we'll slow down okay for people who are more advanced slowing down is a challenge so I invite you to um, go for it so don't feel um, <laughs> So whoever followed me more, they know about the Godfather effect. It's a threefold benefit in the Godfather effect when you slow down. First, you give your brain the time to find the words. Second, you slow down the conversation should you speak with someone who speaks faster. So you just slow it down for your own benefit. And third, um, in the Godfather movie, the Godfather was the one speaking faster, or sorry, slower, I should say. So he was the authority. So you convey the fact that you know what you're talking about and how to talk. Okay? And it gives you also, in the same time, it's not like a misleading because it gives you also the time 
to put your words together and sentence together. So for anybody who speaks faster, that's the hardest skill to get to slow down. So it's a good exercise practice here in the group when someone else doesn't understand quite that well, if you're speaking a little faster. Um, so um, Catherine, you do, you speak a little quicker than I think some people here. So that would be an exercise for you to speak a little slower and discover what does that do to you for your level. So don't do it for their benefit, though that's going to be a benefit to everybody else. But for you particularly, for you personally, it helps you discover those words that don't come. It helps you discover that pronunciation that doesn't come, quite come correctly. Or the way you hear yourself when you make a mistake. You do. You just said that, right? So when I'm home, I do this. When I'm not, I do that. So you do hear the difference between the two. And slowing down will allow you to find a particular technique for you that may be personal to you or I'll share other ways that will help you speak the same way in public on the stage as you are in your own bedroom going for your script, right? Okay, perfect. Alors, Monsieur Charles, oui. on, ne, on, ne, on, vous jure, on ne vous connaît pas. Est-ce que vous pouvez nous dire uh, uh, combien d'années avez-vous pratiqué le français? Combien d'années? Oh, quelques années. Uh, oui. Quelques années à uh, uh, l'université pour... Uh, Uh, comme auditeur. Comme auditeur. Vous n'avez pas parlé. Vous n'avez pas parlé. Non, non, non. Ah, ah. ah. Auditeur, je officiellement, j'étais auditeur, mais dans la classe, euh, j'ai pu participer avec les autres étudiants. You want to say that you audited the class, so that's assisté. J'ai assisté, assisté à la oui. classe. Mm. À l'université, pas au université, mais à l'université. À, à l'université. À l'université. Super. Euh, pourquoi voulez-vous apprendre le français? Ah, parce que j'aime la langue et je, je veux mieux apprécier euh, les films français mm -hmm. euh, pour euh, comprendre les films sans sous-titres. Mm -hmm. C'est mon but. Mm -hmm. Mon, mon but. Et, so, because there are et, a couple... Et, yes, go ahead. Oui. oui. Et? Et de temps en temps, je voyageais en Europe pour visiter les ah, musées d'art. OK. Super. So, I noticed twice, um, and that's, again, I'm going to repeat that, is necessary for everybody to hear because I'm doing things completely differently than... Uh, uh, most people. Um, so please come prepared here. And I know sometimes it's hard when you see you or seeing people seeing you. So I appreciate the advantage of the one-on-one -on -one sessions. Um, but uh, come prepared to make as many mistakes as possible here. <laughs> Okay. Très facile pour moi. okay, let's make it, make it an intention rather than I have, ah, that's what it is, I'm sorry, but I, I suck and I hate it. No, I suck and I want to show you how much I suck because that's why I'm coming here. I need your feedback, okay? Because, I, and, and the way that I like to give my feedback, uh, even in the one-on-one -on -one sessions, as well as here, is to benefit everybody and to benefit you, whichever level you are at, across the language. So I noticed, and I know you're not the only one here, having a couple of uh, mistakes with, um, okay, so a couple of times the genders was, were not used correctly. I want to avoid error correctly, incorrectly, those things, because they're not, it's not the case. So um, how do you learn genders? Is there anybody else, a show of hands, is there anybody else having pr troubles with uh, genders? <laughs> we. <laughs> Okay, leave you to. Okay, perfect. So then I'm talking to more people. Um, how do you learn your gender, Charles? Mm, par uh, mémoire. Oui. Yeah. Oui. Par okay. l'usage mm -hmm. et uh, 
quelquefois, il y a une petite euh, règle pour mieux comprendre. Mm -hmm. I-A-O-N. Mm -hmm. I-O-N, c'est euh, toujours euh, féminin, etc. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Um, so I'm going to speak in English just so that we can really grasp. So that's what I like to do. And hopefully that doesn't bother anybody, but it's better if I sp speak to the uh, concept in English quickly. We, you, you can as assimilate much better than if it's with French, then the brain is all distracted. Is it get the French? And then what did you say? And things like that. So genders. I also have... Um, an article, articles, a lot of resources about that. It's the possibly one of the top issues and challenges. So I know there are rules out there and everybody's doing their best to create the best resource, right? And so there are people who prefer love, look for rules and that's okay. Now, a language is hardly, um, can hardly be, be um, learned as like any other topic, we can't. But in, because in schools it's taught like geography, biology, gem, French, right? So it's not art, but French and any other uh, uh, acquired language is, an, is a performing art. It's considered that way, it's known by linguists. It's hard to do that in practice in school. It's really hard to do that, make that practical with marks and everything else. So that's the reason we have rules. Now, if your brain works well with rules, it just bless you, okay? That's perfectly fine. For conversation though, so the rules are really good if you teach it. And just so that you know, I have PhDs in French working with me for conversation. I have teachers, French language teachers working with me for conversation. They know all the rules on the back of their hand. And yet for conversation, that doesn't really work that well. So for conversation only, um, rules don't work. The reason that is, is because um, our brain either thinks or performs. So either thinks left or performs, right, right? So in order for you to be more effective in your conversation time, the best way is, first of all, to trust that whatever knowledge you have is there and it's taking care of you and just trust that and say, okay, that's gonna take care of me. But we, sometimes it doesn't. So when it doesn't, like twice this morning or afternoon, whatever, wherever you're calling from. Do this exercise and make it a consistent preoccupation. Whenever there's a word that you made a mistake on for gender, write it down, literally by, by hand, not type it by hand. Un, une université, and I can't forget, I can't remember the second word that you, you it doesn't matter, um, un livre, it doesn't matter. So, but write, un livre equals a book. I'm going to give the other um, example. Une livre égale a pound. Our brain, like, it's a computer, likes to match. And if it has two words here and one word here, you say like the book or uh, sorry, le livre equals book, la table, table, I know what that is. It's redundant in English, the, 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 but for the brain it helps. And if you make that habit, a habit meaning, it doesn't matter if you did that 175 times and you had to write it in that one sitting, <laughs> for three times and you want to kill yourself. Oh my God, no, I did this. Like I just did this. I made the mistake again. I, this is not the good setting for me to explain to you the phases of learning, but that's just the phase of your learning. So make that a habit. Every single time, stop yourself, write it down. Okay. Uh, that's, that's a key for you. Uh, okay. So Catherine, I really want to talk to you. Voyons, quels sont, quels sont les problèmes? Il y a, est-ce qu'il y a des problèmes? Ou non, il y a des problèmes. Parce que quand vous êtes à la maison, tout, tout va bien. Vous vous rappelez, oui. vous vous rappelez les mots, vous vous rappelez la phrase, vous vous rappelez oui. les verbes et les genres. Oui. <laughs> oui. 
Mais quand vous parlez avec quelqu'un, qu'est-ce qui se passe? Qu'est-ce qui se passe? Je pense que le problème, c'est que je dois, je dois faire deux choses à la même temps. Mm -hmm. euh, il faut entendre et penser, de, de les choses, penser des choses euh, à parler. Mm -hmm. Alors, euh, quand je parle euh, seule dans ma maison, euh, je parle seulement. Il n'y a pas une autre personne avec qui euh, je dois m'arrêter pour euh, entendre. Mm -hmm. euh, et quand je suis avec euh, une autre, euh, c'est difficile à, à, à me rappeler le, le prononci la prononciation juste et les mots justes et la grammaire, toutes ces choses. Mm -hmm. Et aussi à comprendre les choses ce mm -hmm. que l'autre personne ah. m'a dit. Mm -hmm. OK. Bon. Alors, la conversation s'arrête parce que je suis en train de penser des autres ouais. choses. Et exact. après ça, je me, je me sens très timide et je m'arrête de parler parce que c'est trop difficile. Oui, je comprends. OK. C'est si difficile. Bon, parfait. Et moi, et moi aussi. Je comme j'ai vu, j'ai vu que vous avez fait comme Et ça, aussi, oui, 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 la même chose. Exactly. <laughs> Same thing happens. That's the reason I like. And if you have seen any of my messages, wherever you saw this from, this offer, um, there are these principles. So the method is the principle of the way to approach things. Uh, because Anna is a lower level than you, Catherine. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. And so, because we talked and we will talk right now because I, I owe you that uh, from last time. I remember you wanted a conversation and I did a lot of explanation. Hopefully that helps, that helped Anna last time, the other time. Not last time, but the other time, I remember. Uh, so I, I need to give you that. I owe you time for conversation. Um, but that is exact. okay. So this is the, again, the slowing down. Uh, so... I want, I like to do this for you, Catherine, for you particularly, because you explained exactly what happens, though it's very universal. It's very universal, but you gave a few things. You said that you have to do two things at the same time. And when you said at the same time, you were all nervous. I'm new to you. Everybody else here is new to you. And so what does the brain do? It now splits attention between who's that person? Oh, how did they react? Oh, did they really react? Oh, is the internet slow? Oh, does she hear me? You know, all these things are taking off from the bandwidth, right? Of thinking of what you just said. Uh, and then you said, you have to hear the person who's speaking and then you have to worry about pronunciation, vocabulary and grammar and understand what the hell they're talking to me, what they're saying to me and then I stop. And I get all, or all shy. Okay. Um, so find that in your own practice at home, in your own practice at home, when nobody's listening, only you do, try to speak. When you speak, look at, not at yourself. Uh, what, are you, what are you looking at yourself? Are you, what is your technique? If you, if you don't mind sharing. I mean, if you do, that's fine. We can chat. Um, I mean, email and... Non, um, non, je ne me regarde pas. Okay. Je, je parle quand, uh, comme je suis dans un café et okay. comme il y a une autre personne qui, okay. qui uh, s'assied en face de moi, mais okay. il n'y a pas personne là. Il n'y a, uh, a, a, a personne là. Il n'y a personne là. Super. Moi aussi. Vous aussi. Super. Est-ce que, est que vous pouvez avoir une image de quelqu'un que vous connaissez? De quelqu'un, une, une image, une uh, photo okay. d'une personne okay. que vous connaissez. Mais ça doit, doit être soit une personne que vous connaissez, uh, c'est-à-dire de, de votre famille ou quoi, soit uh, une personne que vous connaissez. C'est comme une... Uh, je ne sais pas comment prendre une photo de quelqu'un que, que, mais disons, mais quelqu'un que, que vous pourriez parler avec à, à un oh. moment donné. 
que vous pouvez parler à un moment donné, que vous pouviez parler à un moment donné, que vous pourriez parler à un moment donné. Disons, je ne peux pas parler avec Nicole Kidman, je la connais, j'aimerais lui parler, tu vois mais c'est quelqu'un que vous pourriez parler à quelqu'un à un moment donné, mais que vous regardez, pour regarder une personne, ça serait un exercice de ajouter pour, pour vous aider un petit peu. Ça marche. Et nous allons nous voir la semaine prochaine et dites-moi si ça a marché, comment ça a marché. C'est beau? Oui, oui, oui. Bonne idée. Merci bien. Et, et gardez l'attention sur votre, vos erreurs. Sur vos erreurs. Parce que vous les entendez. You can hear your errors. I can tell. You're beating yourself up. It's like, oh, I did that again, right? For instance, à la même temps, I'm sure you knew it was au même temps. I know. Because I know your level by the way you spoke, you see? And so, the, but this is also a phase of learning. Because we don't get our errors until after we made it in the phase that you, of learning that you are in right now. And it's not a phase of learning, I'm sorry, it's a phase of practice of conversation. Because you're learning, you know, you know this. You can pass exams. That's, that's behind you, I know, right? Okay, we're just putting it the performing, performing part. Yeah? Okay, super. Anna? Bonjour. Bonjour, comment ça va? Ça va bien, vous avez... Ça va bien? Oui, ça va bien. Um, J'ai un café. Vous avez, je l'ai vu. Um, um, <rire> Est-ce que vous aimeriez parler avec Ara ou Livy? Um, répétez, s'il vous plaît. Est-ce que vous aimeriez parler avec Ara ou Livy? Avec Ara, parce que um, je, me, je me regarde Ara à ce moment. Ok, c'est bon. <rire> Voulez Merci. Vous... <rire> Voulez-vous lui parler? Uh, uh, bonjour, uh, Ara. Je m'appelle Anna. Uh, J'habite au uh, Californie. Et tu? Uh, J'habite uh, près de Miami. Yeah. Right there, Fort Lauderdale and Flo in La Florida. Uh, Qu'est-ce que le temps à uh, Florida? Uh, uh, mid midi ou, ou 30 minutes. <laughs> ah oui, je comprends. Let's, let's uh, stop. Let's, it, what, what, it, it, what, one second, let's stop. What did you want to say, Ara? 12.30. Uh, uh, do, do, uh, is it like 12? I forgot. It's all time. Midi was good. Midi was good. So let's continue there. So Midi was good. I just want to workshop this. So Midi was yeah. good. How do you find the 30? Because you did. How did I find it? Yeah, because you did. You found it. So well, you, I was, you found that. I, I, I was thinking half past noon, and then I said, I don't know how to say half past. I was thinking like. Okay. So let's um, go now. And then I said, oh, just say 30 minutes. So I okay. said, oh. perfect. So, so then how would you say 12.30, noon 30, noon 12.30, right? How do you say that? Mid, uh, midi et 30 minutes. Okay. Let's simplify it a little more. Mm. Guess. Okay. So in this environment, there's no judgment. And guessing yeah. is our number Mid one friend. Yeah. Go ahead. Midi. How do we Midi. simplify? What can we? What words can we take out of there? Pick some words they can Minute. take. Minute. Midi. Midi et trente. Okay, and now take another one uh, word out. Midi trente. Midi trente. You okay. see? Yeah, <laughs> because half or uh, you say twelve thirty in English, right? Yeah. And I understand that in many places you are taught or you're encouraged to think in French. And if you don't think in French, then you're not able to converse. And I want to uh, argue this, um, that I argue that, um, sorry my, for my English, I want to argue uh, the fact that um, if we don't, if, I mean, thinking in French is a consequence. 
this is still, it's coming from a person who lost her mother tongue because uh, when I came here uh, as an actor, I spoke English, only English for a half, year and a half, and I lost my French. So, and then to gain it, to gain it back, the thinking in French, I had to speak a lot of time and quickly enough. I worked with kids. I just put myself mm. into schools, uh, like kids, like two years and a half, three years old. Like you have like no time to waste. You have to be there because otherwise they're killing themselves, right? So, Mais oui. Moi aussi. <laughs> <Bien sûr. laughs> so, so the, the thinking in French is a consequence. Don't push yourself for thinking in French. And now you have been, and because um, I'm just, this may not be conscious what you era or us people, right, do. We do it subconsciously. So when we think, oh, wait a second, I noticed that French has many more words than English. So it must be 12 and so many minutes, right? Mm -hmm. and, and you went by that because you heard this a lot and normal. Many, many times though, English is a, a lifesaver. Just think about it, between 30 and 40% of the words and sentence structure are in common. This English is very influenced by French or directly by Latin. So thinking in French actually is a uh, puts you into, into a disadvantageous uh, situation of not being able to use English. Now, there is a problem with this, right? Only 30 to 40%, it's, it's in common between in English yeah. and French, not the rest. And so now the job becomes not avoiding English, but noticing when it works and when it doesn't. C'est pour moi et un peu difficile parce que je peux parler en uh, espagnol et en uh, arménien et quand je ne peux rappeler les mots, la première uh, fois, je, je pense en espagnol. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. So then, c'est difficile. C'est difficile, mais yeah. je comprends ça. Uh, I'll go. Sorry, I'll leave. I'll let you speak in in French because it helps you with conversation, and I can correct. Uh, but I want to explain much quicker because if I spoke in French this quickly, you wouldn't understand. So, um, I do have an article on my blog about Spanish and what are the parts of Spanish that actually don't. I'm learning Spanish and so I, I, I can see people who, are, who have Spanish as a mother tongue. Um, possibly to, for you, is uh, Armenian the mother tongue? Oui. Okay. That also has, a, so all languages are fighting for real estate in our brain, just so you know. Yes. <laughs> they all do. And for our brain, C'est la guerre. C'est la guerre, exactement. C'est la guerre. And most of the times, the, uh, what happens is that, and for little children, so if you're looking at like babies who uh, um, grow up into a multilingual um, family, they are making the words, for them, the words are synonyms in different languages. And so for the brain, all the words that mean the same thing are actual synonyms. Okay, so they fight over uh, real estate in our brain. So the more you speak a language, the more it comes as a current currency, right? As the most available mm -hmm. currency for the, for the brain. Um, so look up the, whoever has this issue with the Spanish, look up the uh, article that I have. You can just Google it, learnparisianfrench.com and Spanish. Um, and so look up for uh, that article. And if Spanish is a word that you hear more than French, it's going to take more ba uh, bandwidth from your brain. So then you do the same thing with Spanish as well. Where does it work? Where it doesn't work. Genders don't work all the time. Mm -hmm. Pronunciation doesn't work. Like A at the end, a lot of people that are very well exposed to Spanish are the final U uh in the words. They, all are, they are all saying E. Eh. And that, that comes from, from Spanish into French. Okay. Okay. I will look it up. Yeah. Maybe. I know oui. you are, we. Oui. Uh, <laughs> I know you're a beginner, consider yourself a beginner, but you said that in French, so you're not quite such a beginner or as a beginner that you think you are. D'accord. <laughs> Alors, quel, uh, uh, 
combien de français pensez-vous, oh, non, combien de temps avez-vous appris le français? Euh, quelques ans euh, seulement dans l'ordinateur. Sur euh, l'ordinateur, oui. Sur l'ordinateur. Euh, je gèle quand j'ai besoin de parler. <rire> ok, je comprends. Est-ce que vous connaissez la langue mieux que vous le parlez, que vous la parlez? Tout à fait. Oui. Euh, combien de temps avez-vous la chance? Euh... Combien de temps, combien de fois avez-vous la chance de parler le français? Euh... Euh... Pas de temps. Not at all. <laughs> Do you mind sharing something in, in English with me, uh, with me, Livy? I I understand right right when it's written, and I can do those little tests online. But I don't have the opportunity to speak to anybody. I understand. What do you do French with? What do you work with? The Duolingo, ling, lingua, um, whatever is is around. But what do you go consistently with though? Um, I don't remember the name of it, friend. Michelle, um, what's his name? Oh, I, I forget her name. Quiz bot, quiz. Oh, I got it. So you're doing a lot of quizzes. We. Oui. Okay, you're a very inquisitive person. <laughs> yes, she made a pun. <laughs> <laughs> But you are, because if you go for quizzes, I don't go for quizzes. I don't. I am an inquisitive person, but with French, you are, you like to be, to get the tests well, right? Oui, oui. Mm -hmm. And that gives you a little, a, a, a sense of fulfillment. It gives you, is it? Oh, bien sûr. Uh, especially, especialement mm -hmm. quand uh, je voyais... The way you see? Yes, that is, that is exactly my point. So we are getting better at what we like and we're getting worse at what we hate. And the worse we get at something, the more we, we get to hate it more, right? So the more, okay, so then we practice more what we like, we get better at it. We don't, pra we practice less what we don't like and we get worse at it. So now, <laughs> This is the way that I like to work. And should you stay with me longer, then I will be able to give you more and I like play a little bit with you, with you um, on this. Because you need to, to combine these things. Now, I want to address the challenge that you have nobody to converse with. You're welcome to do it here. And we can do it because possibly you're not necessarily so comfortable with someone who speaks better than you and you compare yourself it's, it may be a challenge in and on its own um so we i can i can do that with you and i'll do a little more in a minute but what i want to sh share with you would be there is such a uh, technique that i call it like you know like dress rehearsal of conversation you have nobody to speak with right we oui. so are you, when you're learning your Duolingo or you do your quizzes, whatever it is that you love doing, quizzes, let's say, and Duolingo has quizzes too, right? Possibly that's the part you love the most. Mm -hmm. um, are you speaking out loud? No. Okay. To everybody. This is the best dress rehearsal that you can give to yourself. Anything that is a challenge for you, because if you will, I know this word, I know that word, so there's no value for me to say it out loud. But go there to keep yourself on the edge of your ability. It's what I'm trying to learn from everybody here. So you're trying to practice French, and I'm trying to learn Charles and um, Catherine, Anna, Era, and Livy. I'm trying to learn your ways so that I can help you approach French in your way that it works, you know, so that it eventually gets to work better for you. You have to change French for you, right? 
So the best way to practice anything that it's still not quite all right and you still want to practice it as if you talk to someone but you're not yet comfortable enough to speak that part of French with someone would be speak out loud. So whether you write, and I encourage you to write everything by hand, mm -hmm. write, read, um, watch, or listen. Try to speak along whatever it is that you can, because if you write quicker, which most of you may, and if when you listen to something, you know, they're really going very quickly, unless you're listening to something that's really slowly, that pisses you off because, oh, that's too slow. I mean, I know, you know what I'm saying? So we always push for more. And so even if you don't say the entire sentence, even if you don't, you know, but try to say what it is that you can say out loud. Reason is this. Biggest, the biggest part of the problem with conversation is this, that most people are putting conversation here when in fact conversation happens here and in the body. So imagine wanting to lift 100 kilograms up without practicing that at all, because that's pretty much what you're doing when you're learning your French without moving your mouth, and then you go out and you want to speak. You poor thing, you can't even speak because you have nobody to speak with. But I'm just saying, should you want to speak, you don't feel comfortable because you haven't that, had that part of your body practiced. And the, so that's one then I'm going to put it in two. So uh, let's just agree with all of us that it's always needed to know words and grammar and verbs and things like that, right? It's like music, not knowing notes, there's nothing to do music, right? You can't. So leaving that aside, the two main reasons why conversation doesn't work is one, we don't practice our mouth at all. We don't practice, nobody really practices. Even if you speak well, nobody is really intentionally practicing the mouth. Um, and two, the emotions that are coming, like you said, um, um, uh, oh my God, Catherine, keep still slipping. I, I didn't have my coffee yet, so that's why. Um, okay, <laughs> uh, sorry, for, for vous, s'il vous plaît. Merci, merci. Oui, pour moi aussi. Merci. Um, so that's what's happening when emotions are coming, and then it's the management of the emotions and seeing the emotions and using them or letting them go. That's kind of partial meditation, if you will. I don't want to go there. Maybe too woo-woo for some. Mm -hmm. But it's literally what happens because um, speaking a second language is, an, is, an, um, is a performing art, uh, like an actor. Um, I go on stage, I forget everything that I learned at home with my script. I knew I was so good. I was Meryl Streep or better. And then I go up and on the stage, I completely forget everything, let alone expressing myself through it, you know? let alone because we do want to express ourselves through the language. And we end up, what Levi said, and I, all of us went through this at a phase or another. I'm learning like five languages right now. So um, it's that. So we get stuck into learning because that's the only part that actually gives us any satisfaction. I get to be good at something with this language. So let me do it, please. You know, so it's that kind of thing that I don't want to speak because I don't like me when I speak. So I'm going to do something every day that makes me feel good. And what is that? Learning. So that's why most people are stuck into learning because they don't get to, you know, actually practice it in a way. So, okay long-winded explanation so the dress rehearsal is to for you to speak out loud every single thing you do french and do it every day and if you don't have time every day you will may maybe be able to find a minute a minute and a half before you go to bed because my podcasts are that long and i have over almost 600 now okay if you don't like podcasts on youtube i have 1800 videos there Stay for one minute only, but make that as a habit, which is what I want to tell you all. Make that a habit of doing anything French, speaking, move your mouth every single day in French at home, whether it's good or well or not, because eventually, like Catherine does, you're going to get to, uh, that's the point you want to be, to get to hear your own mistakes. Because when you do, then you have a choice. And slowing down is... It's a tool, it's a huge tool because slowing down, we give ourselves that chance, to, the choice. Oh, do I say le, do I say la? Right? 
Does it make mm -hmm. sense? Oui. Lizzy? Okay. Let's have a little bit of conversation. Something, anything you like. I want to make it pleasant for you. Uh, D'accord. Uh, donc, uh, j'ai vu que Anna vu le café du monde uh, et je veux café du monde seulement aussi. Oh, voilà. Beaucoup. Anna, uh, tu peux lui répondre? Uh, C'est un nouveau uh, grande tasse. Oui. Uh, <laughs> oui, tasse, c'est très bien. Mm -hmm. uh, mon fils uh, à moi à uh, uh, Amazon. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> moi aussi, j'achète. Mon fils, uh, fils choisit choisi pour moi. Uh, mon fils est très intelligent et, et uh, il habite à moi. Uh, il a 26 ans. Il a uh, très intelligent pour l'ordinateur. Uh, Ma fille aussi. Toutes fille. mes fils, peut-être. <laughs> mes, toutes mes enfants, peut-être. Uh, 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 mon père, uh, uh, Madame Stanfield, uh, mon père est un directeur, est un acteur uh, au Hollywood. Oui, je sais. Uh, il a des mm, Je suis triste, mais uh, <laughs> il est un grand, uh, grand personnalité. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, uh, je comprends très bien uh, uh, répéter uh, le rehearsal, répéter, mm -hmm. répéter, répéter. La, ré la répétition. Uh, la ré en, en français, rehearsal, c'est la répétition. La répétition, c'est tr très important. C'est très important. Merci. Chaque, chaque jour. Chaque oui, jour. Chaque pour chaque une autre, jour, pour <rire> une autre <rire> langue, <rire> oui, pour une autre langue, chaque jour, parce que ça doit être une, une façon de vie. Si nous avons plusieurs langues, on doit utiliser tout, toutes les langues que nous voulons utiliser correctement chaque jour. J'ai trois ou quatre langues et j'essaie d'utiliser ces langues chaque jour un petit peu. Pour les garder. Autrement, la langue que nous utilisons le plus va être, devenir le maître, le grand maître de notre cerveau. Charles, vous êtes d'accord? Oui, il oui, faut avoir la discipline. C'est la plus difficile partie. C'est la plus difficile partie. Maintenant, je, je veux, euh, je vois euh, le film euh, en français euh, euh, sur Netflix mm -hmm. avec les sous-titres aussi en, en français. Mm -hmm. Les sous-titres en français. N'utilisez jamais les sous-titres anglais. Non, jamais en anglais. Seulement en, en français. français. Et j'écoute et je lis. Et j'ai tenté de comprendre qu'est-ce qui se passe sur l'écran. Ok. Et si vous Charles, pouvez... oh. Charles ah. euh, le, le film s'appelle quoi? Oh, maintenant, je veux un série euh, euh, sur Netflix, un série français. Euh, en anglais, le titre est euh, Inhuman Resources. Ah. Mais le titre en français, c'est un peu euh, euh, différent. C'est changé. Ah, bien mm -hmm. sûr. Comme toujours. <rire> Mais si tu euh, veux chercher pour le titre en Netflix, sur Netflix, il faut euh, utiliser euh, Inhuman Resources. OK. Merci. Okay. C'est une série très, très dure, très foncée. Mm. Mm. OK. Une autre. J'aime. Yes, yes, je, uh, je j'aime. Oh non, je j'aime. What does that make any sense? J'aime bien. Okay. <laughs> j'aime bien, regard, bien regarder les films uh, dans, en, en, sur Netflix, des France, uh, les films français. Okay. Oh, oui. So I would like to, to back up a little bit. 
let's all make sure that we understand that we are here to make silly sentences, silly mistakes. <laughs> We are just, here to do that. Them. I can do that. Just, them. yes, just, them. Them. Hey, Chris, <laughs> just think about it as yeah. this, just think about it as your best friend, someone who wants attention. Give the attention to that error because it wants you to see it. Jujem, oh wait a second, get curious about it. No, it's important. It, Why did it I could think be a poem? It could be a poem, Jujem. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm telling you, I can tell you why that error happened. And that's why I invite you to get very curious about your mistakes, to see why did I make that mistake? Because most people have the apostrophe, the French apostrophe is a little foreign, if not very foreign. J'aime, for many people, I have extent, like experience of years and years on end uh, with Anglophones, and that's very important that comes from an English because you're learning French through English. You're not learning French through Spanish or through Amer Armenian. And that's important because that's what the brain, the connections that the brain uh, is going uh, gonna, to gonna make. So because either at the beginning or, and it may have been kept like grandfather, right? And so, because whatever we learn at the beginning, those are the things that we keep, we hold on to the the most, right? Those are the first things we learn. Mm -hmm. I'm getting good. So, gem for most people is a word, right? At the beginning, mm. and and extrapolate that. So, I'm not now talking only to Ara, but every one of you. You don't have to say it if you choose not to. Though, again, again, I mean, I'm a trained actor, and making a fool of myself is part is a must part of the learning, of the practice, and we're here to practice a workshop. Really, you too. So extrapolate that for other words with apostrophe, that is, a, that, that is how the brain thinks, the English brain anyway, right? Anglophone, I should say. And so extrapolate and see if in your case, is there a word with apostrophe that I kind of compute as a one word? Because it could tu be- Tu tem. Tem, yeah. Je tu tem. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. So it could be that, and so then get curious and then know, oh, wait a second. So maybe at the beginning when I started to learn this French thing, I, uh, I thought that j'aime is a word because it could be, you don't know what the brain thought. And uh, there's another technique that I share on the blog and I invite you to visit and, and read about it. Uh, dissociate from the brain because you are training the brain and it's hard to not feel bad about a mistake because you're taking it personally but if you dissociate from your brain and say okay wait a second the brain made this mistake why would that happen oh maybe at the beginning it or she or he whatever you want to say thought it was a word and then so of course it did the best it, did, it always does the best our brain always that does, does their best and so je j'aime was serving you and other people, whatever your mistake is, um, because yeah, I need to have the subject and then I need to have the verb. And j'aime could have been at a certain point in your learning uh, uh, like, uh, perceived as just one word. So it's not a stupid mistake. It, all mistakes, are in, the, in, my, in my view, you may have guessed by now that I consider there are no mistakes. We always do our best, but then let's see why are we doing that that is not correct or not i can i want to i'll tell you i can say exactly why because oh. i know when i want to say gem but then when it for some reason it didn't sound like that i had put the subject in there exactly and i know in french of all the languages that's the only one where you have to always use the subject or maybe yeah. in english to some degree but so I said, to go, oh, wait, I need a je, te, exactly. el, il. So exactly. I better go back and put the je in. Exactly. <laughs> I, had, I had, exactly. And I had people doing this with avoir. Je, tu as, right? So I had yeah. je. And then je, je. <laughs> exactly. And so they were like, je, but I, where's the, sub? I, that's not complete. That's wrong, right? No, no, yeah. it's correct. Yeah. But let's yeah. see. You know, yeah, so it is the reason. And, and breaking it down, I mean, lo really looking at the reason that you eventually find for that will help you and us, all of us, like I said, I'm learning languages too, so I'm no exception, um, to not make that anymore. It's going to come out into the conscious mind rather than brush it off at the back of the room and it's just a stupid mistake because it's never a stupid mistake. So that just 
brings up. I want to talk about yield fall. Um, so, il faut, uh, it was a long time ago, and now I'm trying to remember, il faut mange, or il faut, I think it was il faut and then uh, a verb that wasn't in the infinitive. And I want to talk about il faut, Livy, for you specifically, maybe, maybe you already, everybody else already knows this other option. So most, uh, most, if not all methods, introduce il faut at the beginning and for beginners. Il faut because we hear the French saying il faut, so what can we do? Let's introduce it. But it's a big problem with this il faut because il faut asks for subjonctif. And subjonctif, you know, Catherine, it's a headache because most of the times it looks like the present tense and it has an, uh, um, like a different so I'm gonna give you an example. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll conjugate the verb manger. Je mange, tu manges, il mange, nous mangeons, vous mangez, il mange. Right? And now I'm gonna say, so that's I eat, you eat. And now I'm gonna say, I have to eat, you have to eat, okay? So just listen closely. Il faut que je mange, il faut que tu manges, il faut qu'il mange, for so far it's just like present, isn't it? It's exactly like present. It's actually written exactly like present. But then we get into trouble because it's il faut que nous mangions, just like imparfait. Il faut que vous mangiez. And then we go back into il faut qu'il mange, written and pronounced exactly like the present tense. For this reason, most people ignore the fact that il faut goes with subjonctive because, oh, wait a second, it sounds just like a present tense. And, and let's use the present tense. And that's obviously not correct. Now, there is another option that Charles used, which would have been il faut manger. In my example, I don't know what the verb was at the time, but you said il faut manger. That was the form that you chose. And that was because you too have been exposed to subjunctive, obviously. You're watching movies. Everybody's using left and right subjunctive there, right? So you heard you've been exposed to that. Good reason to make a mistake. That was your way of seeing it because it could be. But then it's either il faut que je mange or il faut que whatever. Il faut, um, il faut mange doesn't work. It was a combination between il faut manger or il faut que tu manges. Okay? So il faut can be used with subjonctif, which is I'm suggesting you to stay completely away from it. And in the same time, practice it so that you get more comfortable with it. But in conversation, stay away from il faut que tu manges, from subjonctif. Do use what you attempted, Charles, il faut manger, but then it has to be infinitive, il faut manger. And, but what do I do? Because I may want to say this one, right? Of il faut que tu manges, in that kind of structure. So the perfect, um, not replica, I want to say, replacement for that is devoir. So instead of saying, il faut que tu manges, say, tu dois manger. You only need to know devoir in the present tense or whatever tense you're choosing, and then the infinitive. And you're saying exactly the same thing. You sound as French as you would, otherwise you don't have to use il faut, or il faut, uh, no, yeah, il faut. And you never get in trouble. You never get in trouble. Okay? So I think that this was it for today. And I'm so happy that I touched so many things that I hope that was, uh, were benefiting everybody. Um, Livy, um, I think I wanted to speak with you more, but I'm happy that you actually conversed with Anna. So that's, uh, that's a win for me. I, I love this, that you guys felt comfortable enough to do so. So thank you for that. Merci bien. Merci bien. À la prochaine. Merci, merci beaucoup. Yeah. I'm still going merci. to do next Sunday. Not sure for how long for free. Um, but just look on wherever you came to, to see this, you're going to see, uh, if it's long, it's, it's, it's going to be free next Sunday. Anyway, I know that because this COVID didn't go, it's not going to go away in a week. So, um, what I do want you to do, I would invite you to please come back. Now I do know you better and to practice a little bit of these techniques. 
Um, this recording will be on the Facebook, in the Facebook group. So if you, oh, Olivia, I have a face to your name. Thank you for showing. Thank you. I'm so, so happy. I have no idea. Bonjour, Olivia. Oui, c'est parfait. <laughs> so, um, yes, the recording of this uh, call is on the um, um in the facebook group if you don't know the there is there is a link to the facebook group if not just shoot me an email and i'll put a link in the website so that you have it handy um and uh, and we uh, replayed for the techniques and for the feedback uh, i don't know if you like to listen to listening to yourself but i invite you to listen to my yikes <laughs> i know i don't like when you listen to myself um so i invite you to listen to my uh, feedback and then this feedback will change next time you're going to be different people i'm going to have to learn about a different Charles and Anna and Era and Catherine and Libby. So I'm inviting you next time and I want to bring this to your, your next level, if you allow me. Merci. Merci. À la prochaine. Au revoir. Au revoir. Bonne journée. Bonne journée.